All right, folks, due to high demand, I now have an official merchandise store. By clicking the link in the description below, you can check out the wide array of stuff I have from shirts, sweatpants, hoodies, and even coffee mugs you can put your name on. All proceeds will go to my free youth athletic programs within my job, so please consider helping the cause. Thank you so much, and have a good day. This episode is brought to you by our sponsor, Phantom Boxing, a brand new company starting in late 2019. They sent us a great discount code for awesome subscribers. Go to phantomboxing.co.uk if you want to try any of their six styles of boxing gloves, headgear, groin guards, hand wraps, or their Cobra reflex bag. And when you go to the checkout and enter the code COMBATCORP10 to save 10% off any and all purchases. That's COMBATCORP10 for any and all purchases. Thanks again to Phantom Boxing and enjoy the show. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Combat Corporation, your source for combat sports. I'm your host, Al the Postmaster Tomorrow, and today we have a revisit on a previous topic that we talked about and something I demonstrated. Almost a year ago, I showed how I clean my boxing gloves, and basically the process was disinfecting wipes, uh, disinfectant spray, and dryer sheets, but I also said if you want to take the next step to really ensure that your gloves are going to last a very long time, use a type of leather conditioner. So I use Armor All Leather Care Gel because that's just readily available. You can go to Walmart, Dollar General, all these other places. It's like five bucks for a bottle and it'll last you forever. It smells nice, it feels good, and all those other things. Uh, but I actually talked to someone when they were detailing my car and when they saw the video and they said, listen, you don't want to use Armor All actually because Armor All sticks, it's a grease. So it actually greases the gloves, which is why it makes it softer to the touch but actually inside the leather, it's not getting any much softer than what it was before. And then it gets dirty quicker because the gel just kind of sticks there. It's a gel. It's kind of like when you put it in your hair. If you wash it out enough, it'll go out. So that's the thing about those is that it would wash away immediately. So after one or two uses, which is true, I realized after really stopping to think about it, wow, you know, they really are kind of messed up. That's crazy. Uh, so... I decided to look into it a little bit more and I decided to uh, find a couple gloves that I have that I haven't cleaned in a while and show you what I use now. Today I use Leather Honey Cleaner and Conditioner and actually a whole, this is the cleaner here. Now I have it like labeled with my chicken scratch. But the thing is about the cleaner is that each bottle uh, yields 32 ounces and that's exactly what I have. I have a 32 ounce bottle here and uh, it's really cool. So I bought these back in July. And there's still a lot of the conditioner and a lot of the cleaner left because as it says on the bottle, a little goes a long way. Use only as directed, not for detail, uh, not for retail unless authorized. Well, I don't know why the retail thing has to <laughs> has to do with anything, but um, but just a little goes a long way. I think in the video it says if you use like a dime size, it makes it look a lot better than it did before, which is very true so far when I use these. I've cleaned, my wallet was the first thing I cleaned and it went looking scratched and beat up to looking brand new. Uh, then I've done my belts, I've done a lot of other jackets, but the biggest one was my coach's uh, you know, travel pouch that he has, his fanny pack thing that he uses when we go to the fights. I asked if I could clean it and it still to this day looks brand new, clean and everything. It's, it's crazy. Uh, but. I like this a lot more because once again, I don't have to use a whole lot of it. And I've cleaned each pair of gloves I've cleaned with these once since July. And I have not really had to do it much other than wipe them down with like a dry cloth. So the leather honey, leather conditioner cleaner does its job really, really well. And uh, I'm just, I don't know. I'm really excited. This isn't paid or anything, by the way. I, I paid for these, right? I, I, uh, I'm just doing this because I, I want everyone to know that this is why my gloves are even better than they were before. Uh, you know, I'm not paid, nor does Leather Honey even know that I'm doing this. So there's that. But uh, I'm excited to have uh, this stuff on here. So maybe some people can take it and learn from it. Uh, you can use it not only on your leather products, you can use it on leather-like products like faux leather and actually microfiber composites because you can use them on like basketballs and all those other things. And I also noticed that people in the automotive world and the baseball world when they use their gloves like these a lot more than they do a lot of other things. So I'm really excited to test it out. So I have a few gloves today. And in fact, I'm going to pull another set of gloves that I actually haven't cleaned in a while. And we'll start with these. These, which I know everyone's been begging for the review on the winnings, right? I haven't cleaned my winnings in a while. These are just white gloves, which is why I want to show you. So they shine a little bit, but they're a little dirty. They look a little old, especially on the thumb here. They're a little beat up. Uh, you know, I don't use these as much as uh, other people would, but, you know, they are a little old. They're approaching 
three or four years. But I haven't cleaned these in a little while because I haven't used them in a while. But we're gonna we're gonna clean them today. Okay. So first off, what you want to do is make sure that the the surface is dry. Okay. So this is dry. It's been sitting here for a while. The surface is entirely dry, and and everything about the glove is dry. So we want to do that. The next thing we want to do is take a cloth. A lint-free cloth, which they have their own uh, cloths, which I didn't know until after the fact. But I just got uh, leather cleaning cloths off Amazon where I bought these. Uh, which, by the way, each thing is 18 bucks, about, or 15 to 20 And it's honestly worth it because it's going to last you a long time. And each cloth was, I think a pack of cloths was like 5 bucks. So what you want to do is you don't want to spray it directly on, okay? You want to spray it onto a cloth and do a little bit in an area to see how the leather reacts first, okay? Because some leathers and some materials may not react well to it. It might bleach it or something, so you never know. Um, obviously, these are white, so I doubt it will. Okay, so that's a little bit in there. Now I'm going to do rub it a little bit towards the top, okay? And you can see that's not because it's wet. That's how good the cleaner is already towards the top, right? It's shiny already and it's reacting pretty well so now I'll wipe the whole glove down okay and I'll get onto the thumb as well and what's crazy is those little tiny black marks that were on the thumb are gone already and it looks newer than it did just a couple minutes ago all right and then obviously it's winning it's the glove too it's a very well-made glove the cowhide leather here go down the palm inside the thumb, of course. You want to get all those other things. Awesome. All right. Wipe the rest of that off and fan it off, and boom. So you got a clean glove. So that's the leather cleaner. So now it's bleach white like it was when I bought it. It's that, it's that creamy bleach white. Okay. Yeah, of course, you got some signs of chipping. They're older. But you want to go to the next step obviously you can stop at the cleaner or you can take a tiny little dime sized piece from here put it on the center of this cloth from the conditioner put it there just to show you it's about that it's running a little bit but it's dime size size dime size drop rub it into the cloth and then we're going to rub it on now it's a little sticky and they actually say you can put it in the microwave for like 10 to 15 seconds and it'll make it a little bit more runny and that'll make it easier to apply so i did that before the video started so it's not so sticky but look at that just the top of the glove and look how shiny that is that looks like it just came out from a from a leather worker shop to me so that's crazy of how clean that is let's look at the the top of it let's do the rest of the glove here I'll be generous just because they're winnings and put just a touch more onto the cloth here. And get the palm inside the thumb, underneath the fingers, bang. And if you look at that, that looks like a brand new glove. And just to show you, to me personally, you can see the shine and the hue of the left glove that I clean here and it's a lot softer even for a pillow glove especially compared to this right maybe you can't see it but I think this shines for one and the, it looks just whiter to me this looks like it's a little dirty and you can tell off the back there's some little spots here or there not on this one nothing so so I'll clean this one after the video is done but just so you know for the sake of time but let's move on to say a uh, a man-made material with these fair taxes. These are pretty dirty because actually the ceiling in my office, my old office collapsed. I've never cleaned these off, but you can see all the little white spots here. And this is a microfiber material, right? So once again, all I do is I take the cloth, cleaner first, spray it in, rub it around. And then we wipe it. Now look how shiny even the microfiber is. And those white spots are gone. Look how shiny that is. Okay, now we'll take the conditioner because it works on both products. Rub that right in. 
And oh my goodness, it looks even better than when it was shining a second ago. That's insane. So Leather Honey for sure has me as a longtime customer because of this. If it works on multiple materials, I've used these on my mitts as well. My lips and my mitts look amazing. And that's what you get with these. And look how clean those are compared to these. So dull, so shiny, right? And just to prove that this works for any boxing glove on the market, I don't know if you remember my last video where I plunged my hands in, in boxing gloves into literally um, cakes and pies, but these are the gloves that I used before, right? For those. And look how clean they are. <laughs> That's what Leather Honey Leather Conditioner does. It literally cleans anything to do with leather. And, th and this is Napa leather too. It's an actual hide. It's very cleanable, right? It's easy to clean and it's very easy to use. And just to show you another one, it works on microfiber materials. Look at my Hayabusa's and how, how nice and shiny they are compared to the other gloves even. Right, especially the part that is supposed to kind of look like that leather. It's so clean, it's so shiny. My Ringside Omegas, I love these gloves and they look nice and shiny and clean. And this is after these have set for about a day. They do recommend that each glove, or well, that each product you kind of want to sit for a little bit before it comes back, but I've had these set for a day and look how much shine there is to them, right? And these I'll have sit for another 24 hours and I'll come back to them and they'll look even shinier than this. And the other part is the leather honey, leather conditioner and cleaner smells amazing. Uh, so that's really nice too. But I've used these on a lot of my leather products and it's awesome. The other cool part about it is, is it makes sense is that my hands get softer, right? I, I, I normally like having more callus for, you know, boxing reasons, but my hands are nice and soft, which makes sense because once again, you're putting it on leather, which is a hide. Our skin is a hide. So you're going to have that happen. But if it were me, I would say go out and get some leather honey, leather care uh, conditioner and cleaner. And they have the cloths too, but I think the cloth probably doesn't matter as much. Um, you know, I think any type of leather care cloth will work. I'd go out of my way to go get that. In fact, I made a video, went out of my way to make a video just to talk about this stuff. I think if you have any type of combat sport equipment that is of leather material, which I, uh, I mean, every part of it virtually is, uh, I would go out and get yourself some, some, uh, get yourself some. All right, folks. So with that said, I'm Al Morrow with the Combat Corporation. I'll see you on the next episode.